Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Uh, we have new and updated information. It looks like all the updates just come out about 20 minutes ago, and it is pretty, uh, it's pretty changing. Let me show you what we have. Okay, here's the, the, so, the low system that we have in the Western Caribbean. It still forms in the same place. Now, instead of if you go into the 222 hour, instead of going towards Jamaica and rapid intensification and then going over Cuba, it heads towards the Yucatan Peninsula. It goes into the Gulf and it heads towards Florida. Again, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just bringing you what I see, guys. Now, it gets down to 963, 957, then it goes down to 956. So it does major rapid intensification. 956 is a Cat 3 hurricane. All the way down to 944 to 965 is a Cat 3. I will show you. Here it is right here on the 312, same shot. And then it gets towards Tampa. It don't go towards Louisiana so far <clears throat> or any other state in the Gulf. I think it's because the cold front keeps it to the east. So we have to wait and see still. But 956 hitting Tampa, that's pretty catastrophic, guys. That's, that's Look, 12 hours later, it's on the other side of Florida. So that means it's a Cat 3 hurricane on the west side of Florida. And it's a Cat 3 the whole time it's going across Florida. And then it's a Cat 3 on the other side. This is going to be a strong hurricane, guys. Here's a shot that you have on the other side that I just showed. And here it is down here on the side, on the bottom. Now, if you watch, it also goes up the, the whole east coast, and it does more rapid intensification. Here's the Carolinas. It's down to 953, and then it goes to the northeast at 947. I mean, there's producing snow in, in certain places, but that's Canada over there. But 947, y'all, that's on the edge of a Cat 4. That is 944. Let me show you. Cat 3 is 945 to 964. And that was 947. That is a very strong Cat 3 hurricane. And if you look on Tropical Tidbits, you'll see. You'll see this form up. You'll see it go in the Gulf, across Florida, and go across the East Coast. It's going to be a major hurricane, guys. Now, as far as uh, impacts on what I can see so far, let me get as close as I can get it to Florida. That's where it shows so far where it's going to be headed. It is subject to change. It is a, a minute away. Yeah, it looks like the most intense part is right there. I have 102 on the right side. 104.7. Did I see a 105? Yep, I sure did. 105.4. And that's the new information that we have out. That's, that's as of right now. And then it goes across Florida. And it goes to the east side of it, and then it stays up the, the coast and rides up the coast. Uh, we're only going to see the, the 15 days, so I don't know how much further we're going to see of this. But it is going to be a problem for the east coast if this track does show true. I mean, just right there in the, in the Carolinas, we got 89, we got 92 miles per hour. That's, that's a very strong hurricane. 95 is a cat too. So it's, it's very strong. And this is 10 meters. This is impact. This is impact of what you're going to feel from this, this tropical storm. Oh, I'm sorry. Hurricane. Now, if you see, it goes back. All right. Well, it weakened up. It strengthened up a little bit more, but that's what I show so far. And then it moves very quickly up to the northeast. And that's when it's down to 946 millibars. That is very intense, guys, as it moves away. And look at all this area. This, all this white here is all in the 40s. This is a big system. But that is that is the newest information out according to the models that we have. So I figure it was my duty to update y'all with the new models that just got renewed today. So that's what we have, guys. Let's pray that this thing just doesn't form. I mean, I'll stay with that every 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 day. I'll, I'll pray it don't form because... Last thing y'all needed was another one, and y'all had one. And the last thing you need is another one. So God bless all of you going through these problems and having all these hurricanes, floodings, and power outages. And it's a lot to deal with. I'd like to say Psalm 25. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, 
which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that, are, that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such a turn aside into their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth from the workers of iniquity. But peace shall be upon Israel. Amen. God bless y'all today, guys. I notice twice I'm giving y'all bad news, and I'm sorry for that. I hope y'all have a great day today. I still continue to hope you have a great day, and I still hope this is not form. All glory does go to God. Amen.